And Riley O'Connor has been tracking that storm. You are uh, taking a look at some of the satellite images. Yeah, they can't uh, really catch a break, can they? Of course, nah. they've been dealing with lots of winter storms out in that direction. In fact, looking even to next week, they might even have another one coming in. So let's take a look at the latest radar because you can see where the transition zone is. Basically, right over Philadelphia, we're starting to change over to that uh, rain snow line. But New York City getting some of that heavier snow even up into Boston right now. But definitely, you can see where we're going to really feel the impact. Of this, and as we look at the snow forecast, mainly up towards uh, New York, even Massachusetts into Maine, uh, getting anywhere from possibly up to around 10 to 12 inches of snow. And I'm sure there's going to be isolated areas that will see higher amounts than that. Closer to home today, well, it's been on the warm side. We've picked up just about a quarter of an inch of rainfall for most of us today. You can see as we zoom out, lesser amounts out towards the coast, just about two tenths of an inch up towards Astoria, and then lesser amounts once you get towards the gorge and generally pretty dry down towards Redmond and Bend. So we've been quiet for the last couple of hours, but if you look off towards the south and the west, we are already starting to see a few showers start to make their way in towards the coast, and that's going to be the trend through tonight with a frontal boundary that's going to start to make its way in. So again, if you're up for the next couple of hours, I I think we're generally going to stay on the dry side, but we're going to have plenty of clouds. I think our temperatures are generally going to hold right where they are right now, right around 43 degrees, uh, 43 degrees, generally with light to calm winds. And our highs today, not much warmer, only 44 here in Portland. We made it to 39 in Pendleton and a little bit more mild conditions out towards the coast, 54 in Newport. So we're sitting at 44 in Hillsboro right now, 44 in Milwaukee, and 44 degrees in Canvas. So lots of 40s on the map. And when we look at the big picture here, we're going to have several systems that will start to impact us coming in tomorrow. This is going to be the frontal boundary that moves in tomorrow, but you can see the swath of moisture all the way down almost to the Hawaiian Islands. It's going to be making its way in. Now, I think we'll have a bit of a break coming in Wednesday after this Tuesday system moves in, but this is going to be the system making its way in on Thursday, and especially on Friday, and I think that's really going to be uh, the wettest uh, out of all of them. And the snow levels are generally going to stay on the high side as well. It might take a little dip there coming in on Tuesday, around 4,500 feet, maybe a, a wintry mix uh, in the morning hours, but then we warm up. Notice those snow levels go up to about 8,000 feet by Friday, and I think most of us will see rain at our ski resort. So the rain and cloud forecast for tonight, we're going to see downpours moving their way in, especially tomorrow morning. Here's 6:30, so your morning commute could be quite hectic, and we may even hear a clap of thunder as well as that line pushes through. So deep, be prepared for some heavier rainfall. Once we get to the afternoon hours, things will start to lighten up, and then here's Tuesday morning again with the next shot of rainfall that moves in. Again, potentially some moderate downpours down to the south. Before Wednesday, a warm front approaches, and that's going to bring in some showers early in the morning. And I think we'll stay dry for most of the day, at least in the afternoon on Wednesday, before we start to see more rainfall making its way in by Thursday. So the forecast for tomorrow, we're really going to see that rainfall, and again, potentially heavier downpours early or in the morning, and then out east, right around Madras, going to be a wet day for you. Maybe a light wintry mix in areas out towards Baker City and highest elevations. That snow level again, right around 6,000 feet. So the extended forecast going to stay wet, especially. Especially getting into Thursday, Friday, and on Saturday. Again, with I think generally maybe even some moderate rain continuing through the weekend. I think those uh, rain totals are going to add up. But look at the mild temperatures. We yeah. dropped to the upper 50s by then. All right. Thanks, Riley. Next, Coin Six Investment.